hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya sim and thank you all so much for all the love and support hope you all are doing great so today we'll be talking something very important is about a video a pump colored woman actually made and was asking why is it that islamophobia is a crime and why isn't anti-semitism a crime a lot of people are not finding this funny because sometimes you ask yourself how do people come out to ask this kind of questions instead of them to uh set their cameras to talk about it why not check i mean you have internet you have subscription you know check it out and then you feed you you definitely will know what is and what is not but then they keep telling us that african-american history violates them i mean it, it gets them emotional it gets them angry it gets it makes them burn the books that talks about african-american history you if only you know how many books that you cannot find in the library why because people decided to choose to share their experiences about what happened so for that reason it is not good enough to be in the library and they are burning it and they are dying of ignorance because if this is not ignorance what would you call this you know i am really very tired of dumb people like people that seems like very stupid and it looks like as the day goes by the nature and everybody's like you know their stupidity is getting deeper and deeper and all that i just i think i don't want to say i hate you know but i forgive but man use google and check whatever you want to check and stop coming here to spread your ignorance all over you know what let's get into if islamophobia is a crime then why isn't anti-semitism a crime it is the education system in this country has failed so many fucking people and we're just now realizing how bad it is for some of these goddamn people when these older motherfuckers open their goddamn mouth and say some shit that's easily fucking identifiable and easily fucking debunked. Anti-Semitism is a fucking crime. Simple ass. How do you not know that? There are discrimination fucking laws put in place. Race, creed, color, national origin, sexual orientation, uh, uh, disability. The fuck do you think anti-Semitism is? When the man went in and shot up the synagogue in Pittsburgh, I think. Yeah, tree of life is tree of life. He was charged with a hate crime. That's anti-Semitism. God damn. I hate living with y'all. I hate living in a country with y'all, man. I do. I really fucking do. I've been to some countries where the fucking populace of them are highly fucking intelligent. Yeah, you have some brain deads scattered the fuck in, but for the most part, their fucking whole national identity is intelligence and then we come over here where the national identity is fucking truck nuts and cheese dip what the fuck are you talking about of course there are laws against anti-semitism you simple motherfucker how did you miss this how i know how i know how i know how i know how it's the brain rot that is fucking conservative media Yes, Islamophobia and anti-Semitism, which I like to call the twins, to do either of them is considered a hate crime. The hell are you talking about? I hate the... Um, it is to our national shame that so many of our citizens are as, are dumber than a bag of broken fucking hammers it is to our national shame because we have to keep carrying you people with us y'all refuse to do any fucking uh, 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 intelligent fucking research on shit and then you're proud of it I've said this before, what pisses me off the most 
is not the fact that you are unintelligent. It is the fact that you are unintelligent and proud of it. What the fuck? Lady, while you're making this video on your phone, you could have Googled. You could have stopped the fucking video. I have a thought. I think anti-Semitism should be against the law, just like Islamophobia. Hope, wait a minute. Let me find out whether or not it actually is. It is. Jewish Americans are a protected group. And discrimination and and any sort of criminality against them is against the law. It is a hate crime. I mean, for fuck sake, you could have found this out on your own. But you did not. And once again, you're putting out bullshit into the air. Because I don't even want to look at the comment section. I don't. I don't. I genuinely fucking don't. I don't. And then, what I find so fucking ironic. What I find so absolutely, utterly ironic. Is you are probably a supporter of Orange Oompa Loompa Cheeto Man. The magical melting man of Mar-a-Lago. And that man has said some anti-Semitic shit. When you have everyday Jewish Americans hearing the shit that he said and going, you anti-Semitic motherfucker. I think they would know. And yet, you will support him who speaketh of anti-Semitism. Yet, you will bring your ass onto Aretha Franklin's internet and using Frederick Douglass electricity to make a video about something that you could have fucking Solved yourself within three minutes. I'm giving you three just in case you have bad Wi-Fi. And yet you vote. And yet I'm pretty sure somewhere in your house there's a there's a cross which by the way Aren't you people also the same ones that think if a temple someplace in the Middle East is built and the Jewish people of the world don't convert to your shit, they're all going to die? Here you are, spreading dumbass. How come Islamophobia is against the law, but anti-Semitism isn't against the law? Are they not both protected groups? What's a protected group? Your paint chips and milk are getting cold. Go over there. I can't. That level of stupidity should come with a warning. This is all I got from the video and I almost Okay, I don't want to laugh so hard, but it's good to smile. See, sincerely speaking, there are some things you do not have to, you don't need to come on the internet to stop making a fool of yourself because this is something she would have like probably the phone, the same phone she mounted to make this video. It's also the same phone she would use to like, you know, type it. And trust me, it wouldn't take her anything to Google this to find out. You know, sometimes you actually think, oh, you think that our elderly people were wise, but sometimes seeing some pump color, their thinking process uh, during the past few years is just really very sad because how somebody woke up to ask something like this is really very, 
laughable and I almost laugh like I, okay I am laughing now but I am trying so hard to hold myself because how did she even come up with this kind of like how how did she not know or she just wanted to ask because make this make sense okay now let me say this you know I know like you know some certain things are in kind of watch or maybe there is need for an upgrade when it comes to uh, schools, healthcare, and some other things. But this particular one, it's really very important that some people learn some certain things. How, how do you how do you say Islamophobia is a crime and the other one isn't? Both of them are they are both hate crime and shouldn't just people shouldn't be doing it, you know. So how did she know the other one is a uh, crime and the other one is not crime? Who actually told her? How did she even like, you know, wake up to ask this kind of question? I mean, Google is free. Like, you know, some certain things you don't need to ask or you cannot just come out to make a full of. Just check it out and you will find out what you're looking for instead of coming up here to make things like, you know, really like upset people because this is more like it coming to upset people or make people look stupid or make people look like, you know, or ask you if you are okay or like, you know, I don't know. She doesn't think either are a crime because she probably does both. That is what I even feel. I don't know if it's if it's saying that some people need subscription to either audiobook or you know just a damn library card because some people really need to learn or they refuse to learn that's why they keep burning books you burn books that you are supposed to read or your kids are even supposed to read because you feel like they are or they are detrimental to your own brain this is what like you know it is violent to your own self how can a book about somebody's history or how can a book that talks about some certain things that happen in a particular place time and all that how can it be violent what you did to those people were not violent but their own history their experience is violent can somebody explain this to me because i am finding hard to believe and to see how some people think you know I know some uh, education, like, you know, system is like everything is just whitewashed, not in his way, but this one is just something like common sense we tell you and all that. And I don't think either uh, those things are crime. They are, they are crime, actually, because it's a head speech. It's a head speech. So, but it is wrong. You are not supposed to be anything phobia. It is not good. You know, so yeah, sometimes smooth brain people, you know, just look something up when somebody sometimes some people come out dumb, dumb, and all that, you know. Sometimes you think like you know, having gray hair equates to knowledge and wisdom, but no, it doesn't, you know. Sometimes pick up a book and read, it's going to save you so many, save you from so many drama and stop burning books. Tell your governors, you know, because the number one is that. I, they are they see them burning books and they are going to see some pop colored women they will still support them burning the books and they will still vote against their own interest because this is what they know how to do best you know and then come back later to tell you some certain things or tell you we did not think it was going to happen that way so tell your governors because you all have so much power that you all refuse to use because you feel like it is not affecting you for that reason why do we why do we have to do it it is you can see how it is affecting the books they are burning you can see how it is affecting you so bad that you mounted your phone to ask some stupid questions you know see you all in my next video bye for now